Good afternoon. Today we're opening the first episode of a video neuroscience journal club. Today's pilot features trends in gliogenesis and we'll be discussing the work, the role of Notch in promoting glial and neural stem cell fates from Gaiano and Fischel, published back in 2002 in the Annual Review of Neuroscience. Before getting started with the details of the paper, it is important to first recognize the cellular lineage of neural stem cells. Following the formation of neural stem cells from a more pluripotent precursor cell, gliogenesis allows for the generation of glial cells. Subsequently, further differentiation and specialized glial lineages are generated, including astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, and microglial cells. It is this portion of the neural cell lineage that will be focused on by the authors, that is glial cell formation and specialization of these cells to further differentiated lineages. It is also important to recognize the function of these specialized glial cells that, are, that they are most commonly associated within the central nervous system. Astrocytes serve to maintain the chemical environment necessary for proper neurochemical signaling, whereas oligodendrocytes generate and sequester myelin stores used for axon insulation. Finally, microglia cells exhibit macrophage-like properties to remove foreign and cellular debris within the central nervous system. Recognizing the function of these cells allows one, in a way, to begin anticipating the events required to occur for a functional specialized lineage to form. The authors propose a signaling cascade model to explain the events leading to differentiation of glial cells. It was suggested signaling from the notch pathway serves as a key component and mediator of the events that allow specialization to occur. Notch signaling is highly conserved across species and is widely used during both vertebrate and invertebrate development to regulate cell fate in the developing embryo. While much of the initial understanding of the Notch pathway came from studies in worms, flies, and other invertebrates, it is now recognized that vertebrates share many of the characteristic signaling events. The Notch family are cell surface receptors that are activated by ligand binding. Commonly associated are delta and jagged ligand molecules. Upon binding, the intracellular portion of the notch receptor is cleaved and enters the nucleus where it influ influences the expression of numerous transcription factors and ultimately changes expression of genes responsible for the specialization of glial lineages. The multiple target effectors present Notch the capability to mediate a wide range of events leading to a large number of specialized lineages. The authors suggest specifically that events resulting from Notch signaling modulate glial cell differentiation to an astrocyte lineage. Notch signaling induces changes in specific gene expression responsible for astrocyte formation. Similarly, microglial cells formation is also proposed to be mediated by Notch signaling. In addition to Notch's ability to induce differentiation of some glial lineages, such as microglial cells as well as astrocyte. The authors also suggest notch signaling has the potential to inactivate events leading to differentiation of other glial fates. In particular, notch was discussed to prevent glial cells from specializing into oligodendrocytes. Here, notch signaling has been shown to activate transcriptional repressors that downregulate genes responsible for oligodendrocyte formation. A great deal of research 
has been focused on understanding how the notch signal is transmitted and regulated on the molecular level. Collectively, understanding these processes of induction and inhibition and the regulatory mechanisms will advance the understanding of the basis of neurogenitive diseases. The authors propose that the recognition of the glial pathway components will allow future studies to begin reprogramming these activities in a sense. Consequently, this provides the ability to reverse the fate of glial cells to cells more pluripotent in nature that could be then re-stimulated to cells affected in certain neurodegenerative diseases. This concludes the first episode of the Neuroscience Journal Club. Thank you.